Hey, what's going on ladies and gents? Welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. Guys, today I'm going to be talking about a lot of things, but hopefully I can make it nice, short, and concise. Aiga's banner been out for a while. A lot of people seem to be enjoying her. I myself do not have Ayaka, but do not be upset because I'll be rolling on Ball or the Raiden Shogun and I cannot wait for that to happen. And it, she's coming soon. We've seen the characters and we've seen, I made a video on Aloy, Ball, um, Kokomi, and I think it was like also Kojo Sara or Sarah, as well as someone else. I forgot, I forgot who the last one was. Um, but yeah, we, I made a video on that and you guys seem to enjoy it, but Inazuma has been out for a while and it, I mean, it hasn't been that long, but I'm still not done with the map. I'm still not done exploring the area, yeah, leveling up my Traveler, which I actually really enjoy. Um, the reason why I do enjoy Traveler too is because she works really well on my Eula team. You know, <laughs> she works like really, really well. So pretty much um, all you do is just, you know, you use your ultimate. Um, if you guys didn't know, obviously, you probably do know because you do have this character everyone does um once you activate the ultimate it kind of stays around no matter which character you have on so for me if i have you on and um, i could just you know constantly do super conduct whenever Yula has her e or maybe her q even and it's really good i'm having a lot of fun with it traveler might be actually really useful part of my team um, I still don't have a proper weapon for my Traveler, I'm currently just using the Black Sword and obviously my artifacts kind of suck. <laughs> I have two p uh, attack percentage um, artifacts right now, but I mean the stats aren't too bad, <laughs> they're not too bad. Uh, I do need to raise my energy recharge by a lot, so I'm kind of planning to change up the sword if I do have the chance. Or maybe I should just use an energy recharge artifact and be done with it. Anyways, I'm getting a little bit sidetracked. But yeah, I'm having so much fun with Inazuma. There's so much to explore, so much to do. And just knowing that there's more regions to come. And it's not just this. Not even that. Like Inazuma isn't even complete. We have only three islands of six. Which is insane to me because these islands are massive. Especially with a lot of verticality and all that good stuff. It's just really, really cool, and the map is really well made, and we already did an excellent job with this, and I'm super, super happy about it. Um, obviously, in the first, first few days, I couldn't really play much, but now that I could, and I explored a lot of the map, obviously, you guys can see that I haven't been able to get in here. Oh, wait, I should probably show you guys. I'm pretty much 72% done with this island, as well as 80% done with Narukami, and only 55% done with Kanazuka, which is pretty interesting. All of these islands have so many puzzles, so many gems, so many primary gems to get if you guys don't have any. And it's really, really cool. Not only that, um, Yoimi is also coming very soon, ladies and gents. And I'll be planning to roll on her banner on my free-to-play account, so you guys might want to watch that. Also, tomorrow I'm going to be posting the summons that I made for the Mid Splitter weapon. And <laughs> you guys might want to see that. It, it kind of went pretty interesting. Uh, but yeah, so much to do in this. The adventure quest, not adventure quest, but the story quest is excellent. It's actually so good. I, I was so immersed. Immersed? It, it was so immersive and I, I just had fun the entire time. I didn't bother with any, you know, oh, I don't know what's going on or whatever, you know. I mean, most Arkham quests in this game are really easy to understand, but... You guys know the gist. It's super, super, super good. Um, we've actually done two story quests. One for Ayaka, one for Yoimiya. And I mean, it's so good. Um, let, me go, let me know if you guys want to see the highlights of that. I could probably put it into one video. And maybe do a voiceover on it. That would be pretty cool. Overall, I would give even just the three islands. Yeah, I would give this a, a whole 9 out of 10. They did a great job with this. I still haven't explored all of the maps. This place looks absolutely beautiful. I would say this is my favorite region so far. Obviously, um, I don't want to be biased or, you know, just be, you know, the hype level is sort of clouding my judgment or whatever it may be. And I kind of just want to be as true to what's, you know, in front of me. 
But yeah, it's really really good and I don't know what to say other than well done, well done miHoYo. Alright, anyways, I'm not gonna take too much time out of your guys' day. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you guys did enjoy your day. Consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel. See you guys in the next video very soon. Goodbye.